What's up everybody? Good morning. So today I'm going to show you how to use this Windows Task Scheduler. For you, those of you who don't know what it is or maybe you heard about it and don't know what it is um, or heard about it, know what it is and don't really know how to use it, I will walk you through this today. So basically what Windows Task Scheduler is, and this goes, I think this goes all the way back to even Windows 3.1 if I remember correctly. Um, but I'm on Windows 10 now. I know this works in Windows 10 and 11 and it pretty much works this exactly the same. It really hasn't changed a lot in all these years. So Windows 10 is what we're on now. And if you don't know what it is, so basically it is, it's a tool included with Windows that allows you to go in and set some predefined actions to happen at a certain time. Um, for example, you can schedule a task to run like a backup script every night at a certain time um, or you can get, you can do something as simple as just tell the system hey I want you to launch this specific program at a specific time which is what I'm going to show you today because that's the most basic that's the easiest and that's what most people actually use this for so that's what we will start with today so just a little bit about task scheduler here I've gone ahead and opened it for the convenience and ease of this video I've just put the icon on my desktop here um, but if you don't have that just click on the start button here and just start typing task scheduler it'll come right up for you and once you open that you'll get the same exact window here so just looking over this a little bit here over to the left if we put this drop down here this shows the types of tasks that are already scheduled on my system now three out of four of these well actually all of these I did not do through the Windows task scheduler a lot of times when you install an application if it has like a built-in updater or something like that that will automatically come in here to the Windows task scheduler as a task so this Asus Intel and Microsoft those are all updates that are scheduled through here at a specific time if you don't like those updates you can actually go into these and let's just say um, say we don't like this just right click on this and you hit delete I'm not gonna do that because I like the way that my system set up but if you did not like these updates to happen automatically say you're one of those that like to go in and update things yourself that's how you would do that just right click and hit delete and after all the tasks are actually deleted you can actually come in here and delete the folder as well just to clean some things up but Asus Intel and Microsoft well even the softland which is what I use for backup software all of these tasks were scheduled by the scheduler within that application I did not come in here and schedule these but let's go ahead and create a basic task here to launch a program at a specific time so to do that over here to the right you have all your actions you got a lot of options here but we're just gonna go with the create a basic task and first things first it's gonna ask us just to give this a name so what we're going to do today is we're just going to launch Mozilla Firefox at a specific time. Okay, that's your favorite browser and you get up at a certain time and you want your browser to be launched by the time you sit down because you can't be bothered with uh, double clicking your icon. Okay, so you give it a nice little description. You can put as many characters in here as you want. And this is basically just to give you a reminder of what it is later in case you're going through these uh, scheduled tasks and you don't know what it is. So once we've given it a name and a description, we're going to go ahead and next. And it's basically asking, when do you want to do this? And for us, we're just going to do daily. I want my web browser to start every day. We'll choose that and hit next. And we're going to choose a time. We want it to start today. Uh, where I'm at now, it's 10.02. So let's say I want this to start at 10.05 a.m. We're going to do on the buttons. We're going to put zeros there. Uh, reoccur every one day, which means it's going to happen every day. And we're going to go ahead and next that. So now it's just like, well, what do you want us to do with this? Well, I want you to start it. So we're just going to start a program here. Next. And now it's going to, it's basically asking, what do you want to run? What program or what script? So we have to go in here and browse to the location of the program that we want to run. I happen to know that Mozilla Firefox 
is on your primary drive, program files, and it's under Mozilla. A lot of people look for it under Firefox, but it's under Mozilla Firefox. And then you go down, it's right there. As you can see, that's the application. So once you've highlighted that, we're gonna hit open. So now you can see that it put the path in there to where that program is. So we're gonna get hit next. So this is basically just the summary. This is the last part. So again, we named it Firefox, giving it a nice little description. This will tell us when this is gonna happen. And this tells us what action. We're gonna start a program and this is the program. And so once you confirm that all that is correct and proper, we're just gonna hit finish on this. Okay, so now basically we sit back, wait till 10.05. We've got about one minute and see if that launches and I'll go ahead and close out of this in the meantime. Okay, and as you can see, Mozilla Firefox has launched and I have this set just to my, uh, my YouTube page. So yeah, as you can see, it, it worked. It did exactly what we asked it to do, clock at 10.05 a.m and the web browser launched. And keep in mind, this will happen every single day as long as you have that task in there. And I'll just show you how to delete that task. We go in here, Mozilla, there is the task there. So we're just gonna go ahead and delete that. And then after that, you can actually go in here and delete the Mozilla folder. And that's gone. So that task that we set for the web browser to start every single morning at 10.05 a.m. is gone and that will no longer happen. So yeah, guys, that is it. Just a nice little Windows trick for you that I'm assuming a lot of people just don't know about. A lot of people are just, you know, everyday regular users. They get up, browse the web, check their email and be done with it. But that is a nice little tool for you to be aware of in case you wanted to schedule some other tasks. Anyway, guys, that's it. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up, consider subscribing, and I will see you next time.